We know how important it is to be able to adapt and differentiate content to meet the needs of your students. We also know that that often means a lot more than just adjusting the reading level. While it's important to adjust the reading level without losing meaning or rigor to make content accessible to students, there's a lot of other ways that you can adapt and modify content in order to meet the needs of the students in your classroom. Oftentimes, we have teachers tell us that they're modifying questions by DOK level to match the learning goals, customizing by activity type, and of course, translating to ensure that content is accessible in a student's home language. So let me show you some of my favorite ways you can adapt and modify content to differentiate it and meet the needs of the students in your classroom. I'm gonna start with content I would have used in my classroom. Here are excerpts from Martin Luther King Jr.'s I Have a Dream speech. I'm gonna grab the link to this PDF put it into Diffit, and for this one, I'm gonna start with it preserving the original text. I don't want it to adapt or modify or change the reading at all, but I do wanna make sure that the questions, the vocabulary are set at an eighth grade reading level, and I'm gonna say generate resources. Now I have this version with the original text, vocabulary at that eighth grade level, multiple choice questions, short answer questions, and a think, pair, share. But what I wanna make sure of is that the content in this text is accessible to all students. For some, being able to read through it as is is going to be enough. For others, they might need more structure on how to read closely and identify what we're looking for with this text. So I'll go to add activity, and now I can add read and annotate. So I can choose a different graphic organizer to meet the needs of the students that I'm working with. Now I have both a reading and summary version of the reading and a read and annotate graphic organizer. Next, let's take a look at these questions. Here I've got questions based on the reading, but I wanna make sure I have a couple different question sets to support different learners in my classroom. I'm gonna go ahead and say add activity, go to questions. I'm gonna add more multiple choice questions. Here I'm gonna to go to modify questions. For this one, I'm going to say decrease complexity and say update questions. Now I have two sets of questions, still both based on the reading above, that students can engage with. I could do the same for my short answer questions by going to modify, or here I can add more questions by DOK level so I have a range of questions to use with my students. Now I have the questions that originally created a strategic thinking question, and an extended thinking question. Now that I've created all of these different activities for student groups, I can go through and re-level all of this to meet different reading levels in the classroom. I'll click 8th grade and select 6th grade to start and say regenerate. Now the reading passage, the excerpts that I kept as original to begin with, have been rewritten at that 6th grade reading level. We also have the read and annotate version that is written at that sixth grade reading level. New vocabulary, rewritten multiple choice questions, short answer questions, a think pair share, and it has suggested this 11 sentence commentary. Hopefully this gave you a little bit of a preview of all the ways you can adapt content you already have with Diffit and how you can differentiate in so many different ways by reading level, home language, DOK level, activity, and more. Head to Diffit for Teachers, try it yourself, and then let us know what you think.